Carnival admits that it made an oopsie last week, and the cast of The Love Boat are reuniting for one night only, and we're all invited to join these stories and more on today's episode of The Cruise News Show. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cruise News Show. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Carnival made an oopsie. Now, we speculated about it last week that new health protocols that were published to the Carnival website, they were put there in error. And now Carnival has come out and officially said, whoops, we didn't mean to do that. In the official statement, they say, in our haste to keep guests and travel agents informed, we posted some information that was not finalized. As we have said previously, guests should expect mask, testing, distancing, and other protocols. We intend to provide more details over the coming weeks as we work to resume operations. What an interesting statement. Basically, they said, we, we didn't mean to let you know what the protocols are going to be yet. They're not finalized. However, don't forget some of these things that a lot of people don't like, they're going to be in place. Mask, testing, distancing. Just a heads up, if you're already mad about this, when it is finalized, it's probably going to be there. It begs the question, why pull the protocols back? If you know for sure that you're going to have this masking policy that you outlined, just leave it there. Rip the band-aid off. If people are going to get mad, people are going to get mad. I think it's time for the cruise lines to ring the bell and say, look, if you are going to cruise out of the United States in 2021 and early 2022, you're gonna have to wear a mask. Now, I think they don't wanna do that because they're worried that it could hurt bookings, that there are enough people out there that won't cruise with a mask. But if you're just pulling these protocols down just to add a couple things to it, and most of the protocols are gonna be exactly the same in a month, six weeks from now, I think people are gonna look at that and go, oh, well, what are you, what are you trying to do here? Some people have suggested maybe the protocols were released just to get a sense of how people would react. We've seen that kind of thing happen in the cruise industry before. I believe it was in 2019 where a company released a policy that said they would no longer allow guests to remove the assigned gratuities, like couldn't take off the service fee. And then the backlash came hard and heavy. And then they changed the policy. They rolled it back. The idea that this policy was released just to gauge how the public would uh, warm to it or get cold to it doesn't seem unreasonable. But let me say it one more time. If you are a cruise fan that plans on cruising in 2021, uh, warm up to the idea that it's going to be mask and testing and distancing and a bunch of protocols and make your decision with the seriousness of the times and with organizations like the CDC controlling whether cruising can even happen or not. I don't think the squeaky wheel approach is going to make these protocols disappear. Owning up to the oopsie is not the only thing that Carnival's got going on this week. They've got new cruise cameras cancellations and they've got an update on Alaska. Let's do the cancellations first. This deals primarily with two cruise ships that plan to sail in Australia. We're talking about the Carnival Splendor. All of their cruises now canceled through the 28th of June. Previously, cruises were suspended through May the 19th, 2021. So they've tacked on a whole nother month. And also now Carnival Spirit cruises are canceled through September the 12th, 2021. And before that, they were suspended through June the 12th, 2021. So as Australia mulls over the cruise restart, a major player there, Carnival Cruise Line, extending their cruise shutdown by canceling cruises on the Splendor and on the Carnival Spirit. Carnival Cruise Line also releasing a statement about cruises set to cruise out of Alaska in 2021. And like the other cruise lines, they have not canceled their cruises yet. That's the important thing. These cruises are not canceled. In an advisory sent to guests, Carnival says this, Dear Carnival Cruise Line guests, we know that the announcement last week by the Canadian Minister of Transport to prohibit international cruise lines from visiting Canadian ports until 2022 has raised many concerns concerns from our guests, especially about our Alaska summer season out of Seattle. We are in the midst of discussions with various relevant government authorities about this matter in the hope that some alternatives might be identified. We are committed to getting back to you quickly. We appreciate your patience and support. Sincerely, Christine Duffy. So like many other cruise lines, Carnival looking for a way around the restrictions that prevents sailing from one U.S. port to 
to another U.S. port. Canada, normally the foreign port stop that's required for cruises from Seattle to Alaska. And of course, now that Canada is out of play, cruise lines are scrambling to see what they can do to salvage the Alaska season. I'm sure we will hear more. Of course, the upheaval to the Alaska cruise season caused by the Canadian cruise ban, not limited just to Carnival Cruise Lines, all cruise lines affected, and Royal Caribbean making some decisions on their own based on what's going on in Canada. Royal Caribbean's cruise ship Quantum of the Sea set to come to North America this summer to do Alaska cruises. Well, now Royal Caribbean has announced that they're just going to keep it in Singapore. That's right, Quantum of the Seas, the only Royal Caribbean cruise ship actually doing cruise cruises right now, doing cruises to nowhere in Singapore for residents of Singapore will continue sailing in Singapore. They've extended the quantum stay in Singapore for three months from March 2021 to June 2021. Quantum of the Seas is a real success story for cruising right now using the recommendations of Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Line's Healthy Cell panel. They've been doing two, three, and four day cruises to nowhere with virtually no incident. The only incident on the Quantum of the Seas during that time was a false positive test that caused disruption to cruising there. The CEO of Royal Caribbean Group, Richard Fain, in the last video that he published, lifted up Quantum of the Seas as an example for what cruising will be like in the United States. They would like to replicate what they've done in Singapore here in the US. And after close to two months of sailing in Singapore under these protocols, Quantum is really starting to set forth a track record that could be pointed to as an example of how safe cruising can occur. I've seen a few videos of people that are on the Quantum of the Seas. It looks like they're having a good time. I'm ready to give it a shot. Now, let me tell you about a real special event that we can all be a part of. There is a YouTube channel called Stars in the House. They have been gathering actors together, cast from shows uh, to have live streams and the proceeds from these live streams go to the Actors Fund. The Actors Fund kind of works as a clearinghouse to distribute money to actors and performers impacted by the shutdown. To date, they've raised over $18 million, which they've distributed to more than 15,000 performing arts professionals. And so they put the call out to members of the love boat for a live stream get together who's going to be there of course gavin mcleod captain steubing fred grandy that's gopher the, the ship's purser you got ted lang the bartender bernie koppel dr adam bricker loreen twos which was the cruise director julie mccoy jill whalen which was captain steubing's daughter vicky and frequent guest star and entertainer from the 70s Charo, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. It should be an interesting time. They're going to interview them as an ensemble. Questions about the show. This show is happening Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time on the Stars in the House YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. The question for the comments is this. What do you think about Carnival's oopsie? Would it be better just to leave the policies out there? Or is there wisdom in delaying? Is there wisdom in, in keeping people calm? leave a comment below. That's the latest on what's going on in cruising. Stay up to date by subscribing to this YouTube channel with the notification bell on. Thank you so much for watching the cruise news show. Please show your support by hitting the like button. This is Tony with La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.